Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a perfectly working jail. It's kind of simple. I haven't really done much so far. All I've done was make like a very simple jail, a spawn location where you can spawn, and I added some bars. So, like if we press play right now, just like that. And then what should happen is I spawn in the jail, and right now it's basically stuck like that. It's so like right here. This is the jail. Can't do anything. Oh, yeah. Okay, I forgot that. Okay, so before we continue, make sure that everything uh, on your jail thingy, if you're like work seeing how to make a perfectly working jail, make sure everything is anchor and uh, try to open explore and properties just like that and i'm also going to make sure that cash shadow is off so just like that perfect everything's now anchored so i'm going to try that again so as you can see right here the jail yeah you guess you could make uh, these bars a bit more close together um, so you can't escape it manually yourself so that's probably what I'm gonna do right now right here so yeah just make sure that you can't escape the jail yourself so I'm gonna make the move 0 0.5 and we're gonna move it so it's like really close together. Just like that. And just gonna continue duplicating. That looks a bit weird. Um just like that. And think gonna move this right there and duplicate it one more time. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to move all of them. So, if you use uh, my, if you watch my building tutorial, you know that you can control select and just like that. So now everything fits in the jail. It's impossible to escape. And I'm going to try it out one more time. And yeah, so right now the jail is impossible to escape, and you're stuck in jail. So today on the tutorial, what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to make it so that half of the bars slide over, so that you can go out and escape. So before we start any of that, we first we're going to use something called a union, which is this thing. So, there should be 10 bars in total if it's exactly the same, but just count half of them. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's actually a little bit weird. Um, okay. What I'm gonna do is expand my jail just a little bit. So, duplicate. Just like that. Now, okay, and then we're going to scale this, just like that, and also this, and the roof, just to make sure that both sides are even, and you should be good to go, just like that, okay, so now we can count six using the select and shift, we collect exactly half of them, then go to model and union them, just like that. And then go into the explore, the union, and we're going to call this moving bars, just like that. And then count the next six, just like that, union that again. And we're going to call this 
update. Actually, we can just call it regular bars. Just like that. Now, instead of this union, what we're going to do is add in a regular script. And this is where the scripting comes in. So today, we're going to be using something called tween service. It makes things move pretty smoothly. So we're going to write loco tween service equals to game dot get wait no not dot game colon get service and then there should be brackets and then we're going to do quotation marks and then tween service that's the first line go down a line and then this is this is going to be our like uh, new position so this is where these bars are going to move over here so what we're going to write is local open so this is like this is just like a value so it, we're going to call open equals to and then we're going to write these brackets looks a bit weird but and then go down the line and then position equals to vector 3 dot new and then brackets oh there's already brackets um, okay just like that and then inside of this brackets we're gonna find the position that the door is gonna slide to so we're gonna find bars and then properties find the position which is right here control copy that and paste it in there then what we're gonna do is the exact same thing but instead of open it's gonna be close so loco close equals to and then the same weird brackets and then it's going to be position po position equals to and then vector three again dot new and then it's going to be another brackets and then we're going to find the original unions uh what do we call it? position so we're going to copy the position and oh uh, in the brackets paste it inside the bracket just like that and uh oh okay and make sure you have that little weird bracket and then we're going to go down to the lines and the right local tween info if we write tween info it's gonna show up like that so we're gonna add an extra o and then it's going to equal to tween info so this time not with the extra o dot new and then some more brackets should appear and what we're gonna write is one comma enum dot easing style dot s oh um inside the brackets dot sign just like that and then dot enum oh wait not dot it's comma enum dot easing direction dot out inside the brackets of course dot out like that and then we're gonna go down a line local tween open equals to tween service colon create and then more brackets should appear script inside the brackets script dot parent comma tween in foo 
between info not info because we want this one so info and then comma open now open is like right here we had the variable open here and this should be the position so open and then close it with brackets and then we're going to do exactly the same thing except for instead of tween open it's going to be tween close and then at the end instead of open it's going to be close just like this and the position of close should be that then we're almost done so we're going to write while true do so this basically means like it's going to loop on forever if you just want it once then you can remove while true do but still write the same thing and then we're going to wait so this is like wait how much seconds i'm going to do 5 wait 5 seconds and then we're going to make uh these bars slide over to here so wait 5 seconds and then tween open just like that and then colon play with brackets and then if you want to close it we're gonna do another wait so another five seconds for it to close and then tween close colon play with brackets so the script should look something like that and then if we go back here press play and then we should go in the game and then every five seconds the bars should move to uh, the with the other bars and then ev every other five seconds it's gonna come back so just like this we're in the game then just like that wait five seconds the bars move of slide over here and then another five seconds the bars slide back it's impossible to get in or out without the bars sliding and yeah looks pretty cool and it keeps on sliding over and over so we can stop now back to the script uh, it depends on like how long you want it let's say like if I like every say 10 seconds is going to open the door but then I'm only gonna let the robbers have 10 seconds to get out so actually just change the first one to 20 so 20 seconds the door is going to open but you're only going to have let's change that back to 5 so that means every 20 seconds the door is going to open once but then as soon as 5 seconds are over the door is going to close back down so you can change the number to whatever you want if we just come into the game just like this and 20 seconds a little bit long but I guess we could just wait in here and there we go 20 seconds up the door slides open 5 seconds the doors go back and now you can't go in or out for another 20 seconds so I'm gonna wait another 20 seconds um 20 seconds right yeah, there we go. And the doors open. And then if we come back in, five seconds later, the doors are going to close. Just like that. And yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If it helped, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!